ShopBot offers an optional plastic enclosure for their desktop model. This is great for helping to contain the dust and chips that you're going to create, and it's a must-have if you're, say, a shop teacher running this in a school environment. When the machine's running, you've got a bit that's spinning at tens of thousands of RPMs, and you'll want to reinforce the kids that they can safely operate the machine by keeping the cutting area totally clear of hands and foreign objects. Installing it is pretty straightforward, and all of the hardware is included. First, you connect these weld nuts to these pre-drilled tabs on the bottoms of the side panels. Then you place each side in a position by sliding the weld nuts into the T-track of the aluminum bed. Following that, tighten down the grub screws on both sides, starting with just the rear ones. Next, you'll slide the front lip into place. Once you've got its tabs locked into the slots of the sides, then you can go ahead and tighten the rest of the grub screws down. This cross piece then fits into the rear. With that in place, you'll take this thin, flexible sheet and snap it into place. This rear sheet is designed to be easily removable in case you need to work a piece of material that's longer than the machine is deep. While the ShopBot's cutting area is 18 inches deep by 24 inches wide, that 24 inches wide is the only real limitation. You can work on pieces of any length by creating a tiling process, which we'll look at in a future video. For the front of the enclosure, you've got this vertical piece, which slots into the sides. This is the piece that you'll be removing and putting back on most often so that you can do bit changes and place material onto the bed, and because of that, they've designed in this little curled lip that you can use to hang it off the front of the machine. And if you need to feed in a longer piece like we discussed earlier, this lip is also enough to hang the front panel off of the front of your support table.